the dwarf again. Sindri? Hey, Sindri. We found something interesting. Oh, really? This way. Hey, Sindri. Could you take a look at this? Honestly? I don't have much else going on right now. Whoa! You killed an ancient? Yes. Was it? Difficult? Yes. Is that... all you're gonna give me? Yes. Um, I know it's not my business, but if I were you, I'd wash off that symbol painted on your neck. We were told it would help protect us. Was that a lie? Oh, no, it's a protection stave, all right, but you can't render that pigment into paintable texture without blending it with boar urine. And is that really better than death? Maybe a little. Well, well it's your neck. <sighs> Let's do it. Okay, come back when you need something, I guess. Sindri, have you always been so... Clean? Huh. Don't I wish. No, I was just as unsanitary as the next dwarf until the day a Vanir witch set me straight. She discovered with her magic there are hundreds of thousands of tiny beasties on everything around us. Ugh, so small you can't even see them. No. It's true. And if they get inside you... They make you sick. But the witch told me there's one wood, the oak, that's a natural deterrent. Stops the beasties from spreading. So now, I make all my handles from oak. See? I think of these things. Okay, back to work. So how come Brock's blue and you're not? Boy. Oh, it's fine. Very good question, actually. You see, my brother's not as careful as I am. In fact, he prefers to work with metals using... Oh. His own bare hands. Ugh. No gloves. Says it's the only way he can hear what it wants to be. Touch enough raw silver and it changes your skin irreparably. And he's forever. I wouldn't bring it up to him, though. <laughs> you know how sensitive he can be. I guess that makes sense. We're inside. 